guys in today's video we'll be enriching enhancing and also collaborating this beautiful model using the gradient map this method is universal like it can be applied to different kind of skin tone and with no further ado let's get started come down here to adjustment layer and select the gradient map adjustment layer and under the preset we are going to be using the photographic toning photographic toning and for those of you using photoshop 2020 and above you might not be seeing this option in your gradient map preset panel so you will have to come to a window gradient click on this here and you see the option legacy gradients you click on it and it will load the legacy gradients where you see the photographic toning right here so with that say let's delete this and start all over gradient map i'll come to legacy gradients and look for photographic toning we're using this option here since we are trying to enrich the skin tone of our beautiful model i set the blending mode to soft light wow amazing already and then you can come here and reduce the opacity around this point is really good but then this method can be put under more control like it can be fine tuned by us uh, setting where this effect is going to be applied to your image like the tonal range of the image and for this this particular one we would like to remove the effect from the shadows and in order to do that you double click on the layer video map adjustment layer and then come to the underlining layer here and drag to the right you can see the effect on the uh, model skin on the overall image you remove it from the shadows <laughs> you can see it is not desirable at all so you hold your alt on windows or option key on your mac and then click on it to split this and adjust it to fine tune the effect I click on ok so what do we do to the shadows now we can add maybe blue or any color that will complement the mid tone and highlight we can use another gradient map or any other color adjustment layer maybe we we'll use a um, color balance here set it to shadows and uh, add some blue to the shadow and magenta some cyan and also double click here again to remove this effect from the mid tone and highlight just in a similar way you hold your alt or option on mark and then you drag adjust you look at your overall image to see how the effect has been applied let's group this uh, gradient together if you want to remove the effect from or the overall image depending on the kind of image you are shooting you can just add a layer max control or command i depending on if you are using a pc or a mac and then take your brush and uh, make sure your foreground is white and review this effect on the model skin you can see how beautiful and rich this effect is you view the effect where you want it to apply take your time to do it this is the before and this is the after this is the before and the after you can reduce your opacity but we're leaving the opacity on the high side in this video so you can see the effect adjust to your taste or to your preference on 
your image and that's it you could have choose another preset and go and try other presets and see which is better depending on the skin of the image but we'll leave this particular one here and you can see how beautiful how powerful this method is if you haven't liked this video already please make sure you like the video uh subscribe to our channel already uh, leave your comment your review your feedback and your gratitude in the comment section we appreciate every of your comments we appreciate every of your support on this channel and if you want free lots um free set you can check our instagram homepage link in the description where you see a link to our link tree from there you see several free resources and also a link to our telegram channel where there are a bunch of free rolls free photography resources and also a group here other photographers discuss help each other on photography related issues thanks for watching this video see you in another video